Story hails from Finland. This time we go to uh, United States of America, actually Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, with this band called Our Tomb. Now, I was searching for basic information about the band when I was uh, listening to the band and, you know, figuring out the review. And one thing really crossed my mind when I was uh, checking out the information and it was started to me ponder why the hell this band got 22% average on metal archives now obviously by the time i was reading that i had already pretty much made my mind about the album and really can't really agree but that is a topic of uh, another video which i guess i will be making rather soon because this uh, thing phenomenon actually bugs me but anyway this is the debut album called esoterica and uh, it's already released a couple of years ago 2018 the reason why I am still reviewing this old release, even though the band has a newer one out, actually 2020, is that I'm going through my backlog and this was sent to me, I guess, in 2019. So, um, digging up some old stuff, which still deserves to be reviewed. So, here it goes. This is released by a Russian label, Sadanath, or was released. It's a three-man band, but for some reason this picture features only two members. I'm not sure if that was the lineup back in the days, but doesn't really matter. Let's focus on the music here at the hand and take a look at the Metal Archive site. As you can see, this is 2017 the founded band. who has three members and if you take a look at the lineup, it has these three members mentioned. No idea when each of these were joining the band. It doesn't really matter. What matters here is the album. And curiously enough, like I was pointing out, this album has a couple of reviews. I don't usually so much care about other people's reviews because, uh, first of all, it can put some subconscious ideas in one's head when you're doing a review. So it's usually better to do a review without reading other people's opinions. But this time it really uh, kind of uh, cut into the corner of my eye and had to look, what, look up what is going on. Because, you know, when you see a... Uh, Percentage it's like 10 percent or 33 a percentage you know kind of reviews are like so what is going on i can pretty much recap it without before you read it the thing is these ratings don't really um go hand in hand with the text the text isn't exactly that bad because i mean they're not slandering this band fully they're just kind of pointing out negative things but 10 percent really to me, that would be the most hideous album on earth, like, ever. I mean, if the person scale is, like, from 1 to 100. So to achieve 10%, you really have to do something really, really wrong. Now, I would be rating this as something like 65, uh, if you ask me. So what is going with on this album is that this is black and death metal with rather high tempo and some melodic guitar work with its 43 minutes of... Um, length and as such there is nothing new nothing new is invented this is not creating its own path on the uh, well in the genre that is known as black and death metal uh, this is not clearly neither purely because all the elements here are you know some some ideas are taken for black metal more kind of like sinister melodic ways being dark and all but then again also some of the riffs and ideas including the kind of a uh, growly type of vocals are definitely death metal so black death metal is pretty accurate with this one and as such i don't think these these guys or one of them is a woman uh these people are not doing nothing wrong here the thing is which they're mostly guilty of are that they're doing nothing new here basically everything you hear on this album is something you've heard a million times before that is if you're older than 15. now that is not a big mistake in my opinion, considering that this is the first album and so many times first albums, first demos and whatnot, they are the type of stuff that you usually kind of figure out what your vision is, uh, what the music is like and all that stuff. So you have to kind of understand, in my opinion, give some slack about people doing the kind of a typical mistakes with the first one. Now, that is not to say that you are not allowed to say critical words be nasty about it if the album is full of shite but that is not the case here i mean this is in my opinion better than mediocre album because it's not bad there's nothing wrong as such you know the production is a little bit lame 
because the drums sound like a machine made and the growly vocals are very monotone. There is no variation, no diversity at all. It's like from the beginning to the end. Now, that that is not supremely wrong, but to be honest, it's not too shabby either. But when it comes to the actual guitar works and melodies, I think this album is pretty flowy. That is, it certainly kind of a captures the idea how to make melodic black death metal combo. And uh, I guess the sound is kind of a European. Um, but since the band has actually done another album, I don't know if they have evolved or progressed into a certain direction. But still, this first album is, in my opinion, worth listening. It's not great as such, but then again, I mean, I don't feel like I'm annoyed or really uh, disappointed with, with this one. If this was playing at my friend's house when I was a wizard, I would be like, okay, this sounds pretty decent. Like, with furthermore, uh, with the more spins you give this, you will start to kind of spot the mistakes and flaws and weak points. But really, it's not that bad. So definitely worth a listen. Is it worth a praise or going for high rates? I don't think so. But still, definitely worth listening. So give this one a chance if you think melodic death black metal is your cup of tea in the first place. And if not, well, can't say I didn't warn you. Anyway, take care, give it a listen, and bye-bye.